Hello, Kevin here with Humphreys McGee. Um, you are joining me for the uh, unboxing of the deluxe edition of uh, Humphreys McGee, It's Not Us. Now, not only is this the uh, initial unboxing and unveiling, this is literally the first time that I have seen the finished product of this um, since uh, helping design and produce this thing. So I kid you not, just took a shipment on a pallet of these and um, thought, go ahead and document the initial opening for you so you could, you could join along at home. We are incredibly happy to have these. Uh, a little behind schedule because the plant in the Czech Republic where these have been uh, being constructed at the 11th hour called and said they needed us to pick a new finish for the slipcase, which is this uh, this lovely leather-esque bound book that I now hold in my hands. Um, so I can tell you after picking it, it looks pretty good. Close enough to the original that you wouldn't have noticed have I, had I not told you. Uh, we got a dual colored foil inlay here on the front with a elaborate new uh, logo design by the great Kyle Baker, Baker Prince. Uh, the old U and the M, some nice flourish. Uh, let's check it out here. Okay, on top we've got, uh, of course, the LP 280 gram records. Uh, some of you have probably seen this by now. Standard gatefold. Yeah, feels good, nice and weighty. Let's check out the actual records here. We've got uh, black inner jackets. Looking good. Yep, no, uh, no issues there. Pardon my sweat, I literally just ran up the stairs with um, 12, 12 boxes of four each. So I'm officially sweating. Uh, but you know, I want to do it while it's fresh. You get the essence of what's going on here. Um, the D side of the record is kind of cool. It's our first ever etched disc. I'm not sure how that's translating because I can't see what you're saying. But it is a uh, etched version of the typewriter. And this logo here, um, the UM logo here, will trigger a um, exclusive AR uh, experience on your phone using the same mobile app that we created for the Red Rocks poster this past summer. So if you've got that, make sure to fire it up and point your camera at it and you will see, who knows what you'll see. You'll have to, you'll have to tell me. Um, okay, second piece, we've got a uh, alternate version of the logo in a uh, LP jacket containing a dual sided slip mat uh, for your for your record player. You've got the same, or a version of the cover design, as well as that logo, and on the back, you've got the UM Vortex. I can see you. Uh, so, you know, depending if you're feeling monotone or out there, get your pick of the litter there. Now, this I am very excited to open because, like I said, I've only seen the prototypes, never a finished version. This is the 72-page color uh, book that comes with it, which we have titled Time Let's Go. Uh, more on that down the road. You'll see a picture here on the front is from Northerly Island this, uh, this summer, right before we got rained out, but whatever. Okay, open it up. First thing we have is the CD, which for those of you who have seen it either in person or online, it has um, basically the hammers from the typewriter that, that uh, go all the way around the circumference with song titles, um, album name, various information, a few little, few little goodies um, tucked in there for you. See, can't even get it in my own damn deluxe version. My pocket's fairly smooth. Imagine wants to break it in. 
Here we've got the uh, the deluxe or the download card. Little spot for that. Yes. One of you enterprising folks, if you saw that number, you could probably go download the record for free. Okay, here we have it. Um, here we've got a prologue penned by none other than uh, Brendan Bayless. You'll have to get yours to read it. The first part of the book here is a layout that has um, lyrics of all the tunes as well as um, a bunch of photos that Chad Smith took one day uh, while we were in the studio and the guys were tracking. Uh, came in and captured some good black and whites. The, uh, the lyrics here um, were all actually typed on the typewriter that you see on the cover of the, of the record. Um, no, uh, other than a little Photoshop, moving them around to lay them out and get them, you know, so they're not in Joel's hair. Um, they're actually all typed and then high-res uh, scans were made and layered accordingly, complete with some, uh, some errors and you see little things crossed out here and there where we made mistakes, give it some authenticity. One of the cool things about the typewriter that I noticed is that every time you type no matter if you type the same phrase, same words, every time you do it, it is actually a little bit different depending on how hard you strike the key, um, where the, the ink ribbon is. And it, I, I was thinking about this the night of the release party that we had, that it really served as a pretty apt metaphor for the idea of making a record, i.e. each take is different, each version, each solo, they're never quite the same twice even if you play it quote unquote the same way. Just like if you type it the same way, every time has its own individual character that kind of gives it that analog and human thumbprint. And ultimately it's not a perfect science, which is a pretty good uh, metaphor for you know making records and life in general. So after we leave the studio section, we get into uh, a bit more color on the road. And here we've got, we won't go th uh, through all of these, but you basically got a pretty, pretty, pretty elaborate group of live photos. All sorts of fun stuff. You got Farrick smiling. You got Jake with the O face. You can't tell, it's a silhouette, but uh, Stasic looking tough. Oh, nice little reflection of Jake in there, if you can see that. Um, yeah, so pretty sweet coffee table book, really. Um, Brendan leaving the backstage at Red Rocks this summer. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to just get it to, uh, to check it all out. Uh, in the back here, a little, uh, Ryan Stasek epilogue, talking about the, the mood and the vibe in the studio while recording, as well as, uh, a couple of Ryan's, um, Ryan Stasek written tracks, which you can find conveniently tucked into this little pocket in the back. Uh, seven inch. It's got a hanging chads written entirely by Ryan Stasek and Interloper, a Stasek Sinninger Cummins piece. Uh, let's see, what color blue you guys want to call this? It has a real name, but I think we'll change it. So let me know what you let me know what you like. Um, yeah, so here it is. I'm gonna pop this on here in a second. Excited to hear the the uh, vinyl versions of these. Uh, so that is the that's basically the uh, the contents here of the uh, of the deluxe. I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, I hope you are too. If you ordered one, hope that you uh, get it soon. If you haven't. Uh, you should go order one. That's a good idea. Uh, make a good gift. Design the spine here to sit nicely on your bookshelf and look respectable with all your other classic titles. You know, your, your Melville, your Hawthorne, your Humphreys. Just rolls off the tongue. So, yeah. <coughs> that's, the, uh, that's the quick tour. If you got any questions, uh, feel free to hit me on Twitter. It's at SoundCaresser. And I will gladly answer any uh, bits about the dogs you want. So have a good one.